Good morning. Diddy's indictment said him and his association, Lord Woman, uh, it says it right here. The indictment says Combs and his business associates would lure women into his world, often under the pretense of a romantic relationship, and then use force, threats, and corrosion, uh, including drugs, to keep them obedient and compliant to compel their participation in freak offs. Question is asked, how uh, how was he able to lure these women into uh, his world? Here, Cassie is 19 years old because she wanted something that he had. How are women lured into these worlds? You are lured into these worlds because you're foolish. You're a novice, I mean, you're young and dumb. Uh, you're foolish. You're greedy. There is something they have you want that you're not willing to work legally for. You're not willing to put in the work and the time. You're not, uh, you want the $10,000 purse and sure, I'll sleep, you'll sleep with somebody just to get a purse. You want the record deal. Okay, I'll be your girlfriend just to get the record deal. Uh, in Cassie's uh, uh, situation, he was giving her a monthly allowance for 10 years. Then he cut the allowance and she said, oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. I'm leaving. So I want to talk about just to the everyday woman, how how are you lured into the world of these men? I talk about that extensively in my book, 23 Types of Guys You Might Meet. In 23 Types of Guys You Might Meet, I talk about a number of different men who will lure you based on what they want. Men are hunters, right? And as women, we must wise up, we must think, we must be clear about what we want. If you want a husband, how many of you know you can't date the same old way? See, you want a husband, but you're willing to settle for and be 10 years a girlfriend. Happy Friday, y'all. I'm going to try to come on later and answer some questions, girl. Don't promise. I'm not making no promises. I'm just saying, okay? Don't be email me talking about you say you was going to come on. I say try. I'm going to try, okay? <laughs> Thank you for your love and support. Be sure to subscribe and thumbs up. So women are Lord, right? We are Lord. Where's my, where's my furry pen? I thought I brought my furry pen down. We are Lord. We are Lord because these men have something that we want and we think that we going to outsmart them and get them but not understanding that men are hunters and you cannot be a better hunter than a man. They have money and you want some money. Instead of you going to work six months to get the $10,000, you're willing to go sleep with somebody for the $10,000, your Lord. The interesting thing though is the Bible talks about this a lot. One of my favorite scripture is Psalm 1 and Psalm 7. I'm going to read these scriptures for you, and you're going to tell me what you think, okay? Psalm 1, this is the New King James Version. It says here, Psalm 1, New King James Version. Blessed is the man that walk not in the counsel of the ungodly. In other words, you don't take advice from the ungodly, nor stand in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of scornful. In other words, you are establishing your, yourself in the ways of sinners and you're sitting down. You're, you're comfortable in uh, the seat of the scornful, okay? But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doeth he meditate day and night. So in other words, I don't have time to seek counsel from the ungodly. I don't have time to listen to the girls that say sleep around to get a purse. I don't have time 
to establish my feet, myself in the way of sinners. And I don't have time to get comfortable in the seat of scornful that scorn the, uh, the things of God. But my delight is in the law of the Lord. Law means the way and the precepts of the Lord. And in his ways, his precepts, his commandments, do I meditate day and night? What does the word meditate mean? The word meditate means to think about, to ponder, to mutter over, to think about, to memorize day and night. I delight myself in the ways of the Lord. Okay? Verse two, I'm doing this a little fast. And he shall be like a tree. So when you delight in the way of the Lord and in his law do you delight every day, day and night, when you do that, you will be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. What is the rivers of water? It feeds you, it quenches your thirst, and it will bring forth his fruit in his due season. What kind of fruit? The fruit that you get when you meditate on the law of the Lord and in the way of the Lord and his leave, meaning what he produced shall not wither and whatsoever he do shall prosper. Whatever I do will prosper because I delight myself in the way of the Lord. I meditate in his way, in his precepts, day and night. I don't have time to be no no, no sugar girl, baby girl. I don't got no time to be sleeping with no man, screw no man for no purse. I ain't got no time to be nobody's babe to get no monthly allowance. I don't got no time to get my ass beat just so that I can get no money. No, 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 no. I'm going to stay in the way of the Lord. And because I do that, my tree, my establishment, I, me, everything I do will prosper. The fruit that I bear will prosper. Then it goes on to say the ungodly are not so. What does ungodly mean? Ungodly, those are without God. If you had God in your life, you would not try to be a sugar baby, uh, shack up, you know, be a 10 years a girlfriend, you know, sleep with some man for some purse, get you some allowance so he could use your body. No, no, no. The ungodly are not so. Uh, nor stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. What does righteous means? Right standing with God. So if you are in right standing with God, your behavior, your activities will not be that of the ungodly. Verse 6 says, for the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Diddy is... He personifies the devil. Okay. Let's flip on over to Proverbs. Uh, I said Psalm 7, Proverbs 7. Oh, I love this. This, this is one of my favorite Proverbs. Y'all know I love the book of Proverbs. I'm going to actually write a book on this. I think I already started it. I'm going to read it for you. You see, ladies, what 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 women want is for the devil to change and turn into your knight in shining armor versus accepting the devil for who he is. See, nobody's going to protect us, women. Most of us don't have good fathers that's going to talk to us and teach us about men. So as women, this is why I go so hard to try to help women to understand that we have to protect ourselves from the devil. You can't get with the devil and want him to not treat you like he does his demons and his imps. He's the devil. That's who he is. He's the devil. So you need to open your eyes and recognize that he's the devil and you don't want any parts of him. The devil is not going to change into this righteous man. The devil is not going to turn, turn into uh, the Lord Jesus Christ. Let me hear her read this, child. I didn't know it was this late. Proverbs 7. My son, my daughter, my cousin. Keep my words, the law of my commandments with thee. Keep the commandments and live and the, my law as the apple of an eye. 
When you hear the words commandments and law, I want you to think about his word, okay? Not the Ten Commandments. Bind them upon the fingers, write them upon the table of thine heart. Say unto wisdom, thou art my sister, and call understanding my kinswoman, that they may keep thee from the strange woman, keep you from the strange man, from the stranger with flattereth with her words, flattereth with his words. For at the window of my casement, I looked through my casement, Wind of my house, I looked through my kids and beheld among the simple ones. Simple means foolish for those of you who get in your fool in your feelings. It means dum dums. Okay, I discern among the youth a young man void of understanding. In other words, he was an idiot. He was foolish, passing through the street near her corner, and he went the way to her house. Mm -hmm. He went the way to her house. Here's 19-year-old Cassie getting into a sexual relationship with 32-year-old Diddy because she wants a record deal. Come on, church. In the twilight, in the evening, in the black and dark night, and behold, there met him a woman with the attire of an harlot and subtle of heart. She's loud and stubborn, her feet abide not in her house. Now is she without, now in the streets, and lieth in wait at every corner. Ladies, these men are lying in wait at every corner because they know you're greedy, you you thirsty, you want some money, you want to have the $10,000 purse, you want a monthly allowance from a man that's not your daddy or your husband. Mm -hmm. So she caught him and kissed him and with an impudent face said unto him, I have peace offerings with me. This day have I paid my vows. Therefore came I for to meet thee diligently to seek thy face and I have found you. So she's looking for somebody. He's looking for somebody. These men are looking for young dumb dumb women to make a mess of. I have decked my bed with coverings of tapestry, with carved works, with fine linen of Egypt. Girl, I went over to his house. Girl, his house is laid out. Girl, girl, he got fur, fur. He got fur rugs, girl. Yes, girl. Yes, girl. Yes, girl. I'm living the life, girl. Yes, girl. Mm-hmm. I have perfumed my bed with myrrh, owls, and cinnamon. Come, let us take our fill of love until the morning. Let us solace ourselves with the loves. For the good man is not at home. He is gone a long journey. He hath taken a bag of money with him and will come home at the appointed day. In other words, this is a married woman, okay? With her much, listen, with her much Fear, F-A-I-R, speech, she caused him. Why did she cause him? Because his feet were not planted by the rivers of water. And caused him to yield with the flattering of her lips, she forced him. How many of y'all, these men make y'all promises? They're going to marry you. They're going to give you this. They're going to do you that. Uh -huh. He got after her straightway as an ox this is a scripture i was go i was looking for the other day as an ox goeth to the slaughter or as a fool to the correction of stocks to let dart strike through his liver as a bird hasteth to the snare and knoweth not that it is for his life i meant to read the new king james version hearken unto me now therefore hearken means listen to me Oh, you children, and attend to my words of my mouth. Pay attention to my words. Listen to what cousin auntie, almost 50-year-old Janice, is telling you. Let not your heart decline to her ways. Go, Do not go astray in the path of these men who want you to live a risky life who wants you to break the commandments of God, who wants you to be 10 years a girlfriend, who want to sleep, who want husband benefits. Do not go astray in their paths, young woman. Verse 26, that for she has cast down many wounded, Many strong men have been slain by her. Her house is the way to hell 
going down to the chambers of death. How many more young women lives do we need to see get messed up by these men for you young women to learn? Not even only young women, because the, the older women are just as dumb, dumb as the young ones. That, that 40, almost 50 year old girl, Cheyenne, whatever, the girl that did the interview with Cam Newton, I meant to come back, talk about she want a 26 year old husband. Bitch, you almost 50. What the hell you doing with a 26 year old boy? You know why? She's a dumb dumb. She's 40, but she's an idiot. That is why a 40 year old woman talk about she want a 26 year old husband. What in the name of God are you doing with a 26-year-old boy, ma'am? You know why? She's an idiot, even though she's 40. I got to go, Lord. I, I didn't know the time was going. I got to leave, get the baby to school. I love you. Show me love and support. My books are all available at Amazon. Let me tell you, if you have not read 23 types of, I'm telling God, I said God gave me that vision. 23 types of guys you might meet. Boo-boo, you must read this book and pay attention. I love you. Comment below for me. Let me know what you think. Read these scriptures. Meditate on them. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hi, honey. You're, you're ready to go? Okay, give me two minutes. Can you give me two minutes?